Most of the time, we would assume that transporting items are only done through trucks and similar vehicles. But what if the objects to be transported are bigger than any truck? In such cases, SPMTs or self-propelled modular transporters are utilized. It is an upgraded version of a hydraulic modular trailer that is in the form of a platform-heavy hauler with a long array of wheels. Although each transportation operation by SPMTs is done with much preparation, some just seem to be very dangerous. Welcome back to Mighty Machines. This is what we will be talking about in this video. The trend on self-propelled modular transporters started around the 20th century when self-propelled transport modules were used in shipbuilding. These modules were transported by SPMTs, just like the Herakit self-propelled transporters. Herakit offers services that are engineered to assist you in your heavy lifting and transport needs. They take pride in their sets of equipment that comply with the highest international safety and quality standards. Up next, we have the Perkins Road Train. In transporting heavy items, companies need to develop systems to ensure the success and safety of the operation. The Perkins Road Train is one of the impressive examples of this. One California utility hired Perkins to transport four steam generator sections that weigh 760,335 pounds. With the size of the items, precautions had to be made to ensure the accomplishment of the task. So, Perkins thought of developing the Road Train Transporter together with 48 Dual Lane Loadings Hydraulics Gas Bogies. The concept came from the project managers of Perkins and was built by a major U.S. trailer manufacturer.
Some clients also look not only for heavy-duty pieces of equipment, but also for all-in-one solutions for heavy load projects. This is where the self-propelled electronically steered modular vehicles, MSPE from Cometo comes in. Cometo was hired to transport the 3,500-ton ship section, and they successfully did this through the seamless interoperability of their equipment. Aside from this, the MSPE EVO 2 also offers modularity, versatility, and maneuvering accuracy even in confined spaces. It also uses a fully coordinated and carefully optimized surface treatment system. Indeed, giving solutions to many problems in this industry. Speaking of issues the transport industry faces, the Feynmanville Telemax flatbed semi-trailer promises time-efficient and cost-effective transportation for long and bulky loads, like power plants or building structures. It is engineered to have a lightweight, greater steering angle, and low loading platform height design, thus allowing it optimum maneuverability. The Telemax flatbed is also the longest available loading platform with a four-fold extension complete with a strong 19.5 feet pendle axles with 60 degree steering angle and 600 millimeter stroke. SPMTs have pretty much transported everything, even those that seem unusual to most people. One example is the Felbermayer self-propelled module transporter, which needed to haul 100 components in dual traffic right across Europe to Tizorifaros, northeast of Budapest. Upon reaching the temporary constructed port in Tizorifaros, two self-propelled modular transporters with 18 axle lines and 500 horsepower each were assigned to the deliveries. This project was completed around mid-May. It was also recorded that around 100 heavy transports had been successfully driven across Europe in roughly five months. Furthermore, space shuttle fuel tanks were also transported using similar methods. This specific space shuttle fuel tank of the ET-94 needed to be moved from Marina del Rey to the California Science Center. Since it is a very important item, it traveled by truck while being escorted by police, city officials, and astronauts. Even with such a big and fragile item, the whole transportation only lasted around 19 hours. Very impressive. the Schleppner E550, a transport system that promises to be 100% effective. Large size excavators are usually very difficult to transport, but they are a necessity to mining sites too. So companies try to look for ways to safely move them and one of which is through this transport system. They're linked to the chains of a crawling crane and use the same mechanism as a rolling skate shoe. After that, 
The excavator then slews 180 degrees and pushes its bucket onto the bed of a dump truck to lift the other end of tracks off the ground. Now, it can be transported to the target location for as fast as 15 kilometers an hour, thus saving at least 85% of the time and cutting down transportation costs to 50%. Another one from Schleppner is the DB120 transport system. This series is built to help level up on-site mobility for tracked equipment. This is known to deliver fast loading, agile transporting, reliable braking, and sufficient ground clearance. During the whole operation, drills and dozers use up to 15% of their working hours traveling on tracks. But with this transport solution, traveling time is cut up to 85%, making it possible to finish one cycle of transportation in just an hour. This has been reported to increase productivity and give more effective working hours. Since it's also a smaller fleet, maintenance costs and equipment purchase budget are also relatively lower. In fact, this promises to give 20% less maintenance labor hours too. What more can you ask for? Truly an efficient and cost-effective transport solution without sacrificing the benefits. Now, let's go to the Load Quip SW450, a type of low loader designed to reduce operating costs while increasing machine utilization on mine sites. Can you believe that? Thanks to its multiple brakes and innovative swing wheel technology, this low loader no longer has to deal with issues other heavy duty transport trailers have to face. Now, operators no longer have to worry about equalization systems failing, tire scrape during turning, and not even variable retardation. Aside from that, the load platform can now be lowered to the ground too without needing much help from the operator. All of these incredible features allow even just one person to finish the entire loading procedure in just 10 minutes. Truly impressive.
Did you know that the process of large cargo transportation needs to undergo a series of approval first before it gets started? Well, since heavy-duty machines are about to carry heavy loads too, their weights and how the whole operation will go needs to be checked first. If not, damages to the road or other safety issues might occur. However, in Australia, superloads are actually transported easily since their highways often remain vacant. In this clip, you'll see how they use the cargo system from NHH hauling to transport this water tank. The Panther Series 2 was designed and developed to aid in the mining industry, and it's certain to deliver safe and productive operations. This low loader range is equipped to meet all of their customers' needs, with safety and ease of operation as top priorities. The payload capacities of these loaders range from 80,000 kilograms to 1 million kilograms, and they can even be configured to work best with specific earth moving and mining equipment and adapt well in even the harshest mining site conditions. It also has a hydraulic system to help lower the trailer's height to the ground and raise it when loaded. As a result, when moving, there is more ground clearance. Next, we have the Brochuas 100 Toner, a low-loading transport trailer that can transport up to 120 tons on the 790mm high trailer bed. This trailer has the capacity to be extended while still maintaining that the bed is level for stability. If the operator extends the trailer, 
two of its axles will remain connected to the gooseneck and aid for the 30-ton movable gooseneck. This is done so that a good kingpin pressure and ideal distribution of load is still provided. It's not news to us that mining sites have some of the most challenging environments to work with. That's why machines and vehicles deployed within those areas need to be able to withstand those conditions too. Good thing we have the Town Hall Low Boy. Thanks to its compact design, it can work with a lot of prime movers like articulated dump trucks, haul trucks, and even heavy-duty off-road vehicles. The operator does not have a hard time working with it too since it has a low loading angle and excellent ground clearance. On top of that, its controls are not confusing as well, since all of the Town Hall Low Boys features can be seen and used through its single interface, hence making everything smoother and easier. In terms of transporting overlength goods or loads that are heavier, one of the machines considered are the modular trailers. These machines are a series of special vehicles that are used to transport large cargoes that are difficult to disassemble. If you don't know, modular trailers are also used in power stations, chemical industry, iron and steel industry, and the construction industry. However, modular trailers cannot work by themselves on like the SPMTs. This is the reason why they are paired up with trucks or tractors that can pull them. Once combined, it can now be called road rails. The BLEN group has also been one of the most impressive providers of these road rails. In this operation, they used a notebook trailer with a Volvo FH750 to further enhance the transportation service and make it even faster and more flexible. This has not only caused them great speed, but also increased their efficiency significantly. Next up, we have the company Kamag that promises to withstand even the handling of 900 degree hot steel slabs. This is through the use of their trailers. However, as we all know, trailers need machines or vehicles that could pull them for it to be functional. This is where the TTI group comes in. With the TTI group's two intercombine trailers, the trailers now have the functionality of both a modular trailer and an SPMT. On top of that, it can also function as both when needed. The total weight of their load was 132 tons, had a length of 7.1 meters, a width of 6.6 .6 meters, and a height of 5.4 meters. After traveling through a 269 kilometer long path, they have successfully delivered the loads to the Hale Braun Harbor. Did you know that mining sites use stacker reclaimer machines to dig out mineral deposits? This is especially true if the operation concerns massive levels of mineral deposits. Even with their usefulness, reclaimer machines aren't that easy to transport. But Bolor Logistics took the challenge and safety delivering these parts of a reclaimer machine. This is the 15th part of a reclaimer machine, also known as the largest part because of its 208-ton weight. Bolor Logistics has to deliver this damage-free and safely. Actually, the destination was only 7 kilometers away, but due to its nature and difficulty coupled with other issues encountered, 
They were able to complete the operation only after eight months. They used the finest mobile bridges systems available for this project. That's why it only took them two years to reach all parts of the machine at the assembly point. How impressive is that? Most of the time, war tanks and similar machines use crawling systems so that they have more advantage in tough or challenging terrains like snow or mud. However, one of the problems operators face is how to transport them. Since they can't run that fast, crawling systems damage the road while moving, hence the need for low loaders in operations as such. Now let's look at this low loader from Slepner used for transportation of the crawlers. This specific low loader is best at doing jobs thanks to its hydraulic units. Aside from that, the level of its height can also be adjusted through a ramp. Overall, this amazing machine can set your crawling machine for transport in just two minutes. Self-propelled modular trailers, or SPMTs, have axles that can be controlled remotely. This makes monitoring the trailer easier for the operator since he's given view from all angles and the freedom to move in different directions. In Mamoet's case, they have an SPMT with 22 axles that have 8 wheels each. This is capable of carrying excavators to the mining site, however their speed is much slower than other machines in its range, that's why these are usually reserved for transportation of superloads alone. More than the weight of the load, its overall size is what complicates the operation the most. As if that wasn't enough, when your load starts weighing up to 200 tons, traveling through a narrow and public area becomes more risky than before. To further explain it, we'll use a specific situation that happened in the year 2013. Delbermeyer had to come to Romania with eight steel giants that weighed 245 tons each. Aside from its size and height, plants and trees on both sides of the road contributed to the many hurdles this operation had to face. What's more horrifying is the fact that one wrong move could cause a severe accident. Good thing that the Felbermeyer team had a great plan to successfully deliver to the port of Costanta without even a scratch, to which resulted in the completion of the project. Would you believe that a dump truck can be as heavy as 130 standard cars? Well, that's true for the MT-2A2 the world's second largest dump truck. This weighs about 240 tons, which is equivalent to the combined weight of 130 standard vehicles. Due to its weight, transporting it from one place to another has been a very challenging journey. This is why the national group has decided to just remove its wheels before the loading. Once that's settled, a road rail powered by two powerful trucks is used to carry it. To guarantee more safety, not only for the people around it, but for the operators as well, the police had helped escort this machine all throughout the path it took. Then we also have the transportation of a giant airport bridge structure led by Mamoet. 
This time, they had to transport a load that was 200 meters long and weighed 5,100 tons. Although the destination was only 3.5 kilometers away, it wasn't the easiest task. Mamouet had to keep it at 14.3 meters high all the time, which made things even harder, especially with the altitude. Extreme accuracy and safety measures had to be followed since the slightest mistake during this operation can lead to an unsuccessful operation or even an accident. Good thing Mamouet used their 264 SPMT axle lines in a way that almost worked like four legs. All in all, it took them just 10 days to complete the process. To make sure that the whole process is safe and secure, cargo companies need to conduct some preparations, one of which is the measurement of every aspect of the freight. They measure it and take note of the data so they're able to show it when the authorities ask. During some of the similar operations, authorities shut down all traffic bridges along the way or sometimes remove them. However, transportation companies like Omega Morgan do not allow anything to be broken even if they carry a 400-ton super bulk yacht in a narrow street. Did you know that excursion steamers and other large ships cost up to millions of dollars? This is why transporting it has been one of the most challenging tasks, too. Lately, Kubler took on the task to transport a vast ship to its new home. They did it by first separating the upper deck from the hull and transferring it to a carrier. On the other hand, Kubler's B-team was assigned to take the hull of the ship. To be able to precisely move through this operation, they have done multiple simulations before putting the loads on route hence making it easier for them when the actual operations had begun. Kubler recently took on the responsibility of transporting a massive ship to its new home. They accomplished this by first detaching the upper deck from the hull and transporting it to a carrier. Kubler's B crew, on the other hand, was tasked with capturing the ship's hull. They ran many simulations before putting the loads en route to be able to move through this operation exactly. As a result, when the operations began, it was made easier for them.
Filbermeyer GmbH was charged with transporting a 200-ton polyol plant. This is for the principal products in the plastics production plant being built by the Hungarian Oil and Gas Corporation MOL. This will take you to a location 170 kilometers northeast of Budapest. This mechanism is supposed to transport the cargo from the crane to its destination. To prevent any hassles or issues, they have decided to employ marine routes instead of land routes. The project was completed in just five months thanks to their efforts and the capabilities of this 18-line SPMT. Modular trailers are also utilized in power plants, the chemical industry, the iron and steel industry, and the building industry. Modular trailers, on the other hand, cannot function independently of SPMTs. This is why they are partnered with trucks or tractors capable of pulling them. When they are united, they are known as road rails. Beelen Group is one of the most amazing suppliers of these road rails. They employed a notebook trailer with a Volvo FH750 in this operation to improve the transportation service and make it faster and more versatile. This has not only enhanced their speed, but also their efficiency tremendously. Bayo Brothers Crane and Rigging was tasked with transporting a 340,000-pound, 154.2-ton transformer from Rockledge to Gatco substation in Dilland. Their 400-ton capacity gantry system was put to the test in an emergency transit of the 23-foot or 7-meter-long transformer. The gantry system was used by Bayo Brothers cutting-edge cranes to load the transformer from the rail car onto its 128-wheeled Trail King TK600 trailer. They successfully delivered the transformer to the job site in only two days. Furthermore, the Equinar Boca Vanguard ship was engaged in July 2019 to raise the 325-meter-long Carnival Vista. While sailing across the Caribbean, the Carnival Vista suffered mechanical problems. It weighed 133,500 tons, so lifting it with cranes was out of the question because it was nearly impossible. Fortunately, the bulk of Vanguard ship's semi-submersible hull allowed the operation to float on and float off. Only the top half of the ship's vertical structures remain above water. The bulk of the Boca Vanguard ballast tanks make this possible. Aside from that, the ballast tanks ensure the success of the previously described activities.
The Emert International was once commissioned to transport this 154 feet long and 32.5 ton fuel tank from Los Angeles to California Space Station. It became a big operation not only because of its size, but because around 1.5 million people were watching it too. Luckily, the Emert transporter have successfully done its job on just 68 hours. The Lore Logistics accepted the task of safely shipping these reclaimer machine parts. This is the 15th component of a reclaimer machine, as well as the heaviest component due to its 208-ton weight. The Lore Logistics must deliver this without harm and in a safe manner. The objective was only 7 kilometers away, but due to the nature and difficulty of the operation, as well as other obstacles encountered, they were only able to accomplish it after eight months. They used the best mobile bridge systems available for this project, which is why it only took them two years to complete all of the machine's components at the assembly site. The self-propelled modular transporter movement began in the early 20th century when self-propelled transport modules were used in shipbuilding. SPMTs, like the Hericat self-propelled transporters, transport these modules. Hericat provides services that are designed to help you with your heavy lifting and transport needs. They are proud of their equipment, which meets the highest international safety and quality standards.
Edward's moving and rigging is best at hauling and rigging oversized items. For this, they use two different trailers, the Goldhofer hydraulic platform trailers, which are used in transporting heavy loads. It has 90 degrees transverse steering, diagonal steering, and carousel steering functions. On top of that, each axle of its computerized electronic steering can steer more or less 135 degrees. Then, the Goldhofer THP trailers, whose cutting edge is on its 55-degree steering and ability to access public roads with ease. Electromagnets are used to study subatomic particles, which is why they are very important, yet it is very difficult to transport. In 2016, Emmert was tasked to transport a 50-feet-tall electromagnet for 3,200 miles until it reaches the Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York. The magnet was worth $30 million, and its transportation alone costs $3 million. Cargo firms must take some precautions to ensure that the entire operation is safe and secure. One example is the measurement of all aspects of the freight. They measure it and record the data so that they can demonstrate it to authorities if they are asked to. During some of the same activities, officials block down or remove all traffic bridges along the route. However, transportation organizations, such as Omega Morgan, do not allow anything to be broken even if they are transporting a 400-ton super bulk boat down a tight street. Transporting it from one location to another has been a difficult task due to its weight. As a result, the National Group has opted to simply remove its wheels prior to loading. Once that is determined, it is transported using a road rail propelled by two heavy vehicles to ensure greater safety, not just for the people surrounding it, but also for the operators, the police escorted this machine throughout its journey.
In every nuclear power plant construction, they are required to have two feed water preheaters. Usually, each preheater weighs 26 tons and measures 10.2 meters long, 2.3 meters wide, and 2.8 meters high. To have a safe transportation of these, the Mamouet SPMTs are called. They have wheels that can turn 360 degrees together or separately. These units are also compatible with other SPMT units and can be operated via single remote. Gas or oil can be loaded onto ships and cranes for easier processing, but how does this actually work? Spars are usually built near the port so that they can easily slide to the water. Once that's done, the ships will drag them in deep water so that the carriers can lower it through water filling. Once it reaches a certain point, the water is pumped out and the superload is loaded up on the ship. Last 2012, the Felbermeyer Group had to transport around 90 tons. This was something no one was ready to accept aside from them. They had to transport five 72-meter-long and 4-meter-long steel columns from the road to a factory and then return to the port again. After this, Felbermeyer was reported to be able to cater loads of up to 130 meters in length across Europe. With the Perkins 400-ton dual-lane unloading suspension beam with 48 axles called Road Train, they were able to transport a 637,000-pound load for over a year and a half. Even with that number, it is considered to be the fastest record Perkins has given that it was only allowed to move during the night. It is 391 feet long and 22 feet wide with suspension beams from above to ensure safe operations.
The TTI Group's two intercombine trailers now feature the functionality of a modular trailer as well as an SPMT. Furthermore, it can serve as both when necessary. Their cargo weighed 132 tons and measured 7.1 meters in length, 6.6 .6 meters in breadth, and 5.4 meters in height. They successfully delivered the goods at the Heilbronn Harbor after traveling a 269-kilometer route. Now, let's look at this low loader from Sleepner, used for transportation of the crawlers. This specific low loader is best at doing its job thanks to its hydraulic units. Aside from that, the level of its height can also be adjusted through a ramp. Overall, this amazing machine can set your crawling machine for transport in just two minutes. Thank you for taking the time to watch Mighty Machines. Let us know what you thought of these innovations in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you can be updated with our content. See you next time.